It's about Web2 developers friendly, zero knowledge privacy Lego from Chi Chang. And uh, really looking forward to starting the day with this one. Welcome, everybody. And uh, let's go for it, Chi. Thank you very much, Franco. Um, yeah, so um, today I'm going to talk about Web2 that friendly ZK privacy Lego. It's uh, it's very, uh, it's a really low hanging fruit that you can introduce to your uh, Web two friends and build very cool privacy applications. Uh, so I will give an overview and uh, show show how it works. They have some technical details and uh, and then um, I show some uh, what can you do with it and then uh, current uh, progress of how how the stack looks like so um it's uh it so uh, um it, it's mostly web to uh in interaction it only require a little web3 interaction from user uh that's at the registration stage if you are um you if you register with uh uh, some options you don't even require user to to um, interact with the uh, with with the Ethereum blockchain. Um, it also just requires a server to read data from the um, from the contract. So so it's pretty much um, more web to story here. And then um, so uh, the promise is. Uh, uh, this uh, this tools lets user interact with the server by proving they belongs to a group of people, but not uh, uh, who who they are. So ser server cannot identify um, who's the uh, this user is. Um, it's it's based on a uh, semaphore. It's originally named uh, semaphore authentication. Uh, it's a uh, the idea and and the spec is written by uh, Barry Whitehead, um, um, and also uh, it behind it is a uh, semaphore. Uh, it's the whole uh, it's a whole framework uh, developed uh, by uh, Kobe and uh, Wei Jie and Barry. Um, so yeah, so uh, we. Uh, this this is how it looks like uh, with some diagrams. So um, you the user register to a group of people. So you can have a whistleblower group, or you can have uh, some like holders of some tokens, or um, you can even if you have a a, a, a group manager that uh, they can do KYC for you. You can do a lot of rich side of KYC, but uh, when the user need to interact with the server, um, the user provides a proof. Uh, but the server server doesn't know which uh, this uh, user is. It, you see, it's a squirrel, but but the server doesn't know it. The server that's just convinced it belongs to this group. So um, I have, I have already a demo website. Uh, I can. Um, Show everybody now. So let's go to a uh, Hoji chart. And uh, usually, uh, so so here is uh, I've already done the setup. But uh, if you don't, you can. Um, this is uh, uh, wait. Sorry. Um, okay, so this is uh, when you uh, when you enter this website, you can see uh, here has a lot of uh, posts, and those posts uh, you cannot tell who those user are. But um, when you connect to MetaMask, oh sorry, I should yeah, um, you need to download a circuit like uh, to un. Hundred uh, megabytes uh, to um, to to post and uh, to to po 
post an article. And you can see that uh, this, this group is managed by a contract. And now we have a uh, 10 registered user here. And to register, you need um, a, a 0 0.09 uh, test and ether to register. So this is one, one style of registration. It's, uh, you, you can require user to um, burn some uh, for some ethers to register. And wait, let me finish the download. So, um, yeah, this, uh, I currently have some uh, issue like ca caching uh, 100 uh, megabytes of uh, data on, on uh, browser, but it's if you you are uh, implementing a plugin or implement in a mobile uh, mobile applications, it's uh, very uh, practical. It's just a one time download on, on your uh, when install your applications, and then it's just um, um, uh, ten seconds of proving time. So. Uh, if I'm sending a post now, like uh, non con. So when you publish, you need to um, you need to generate a proof, and it takes about uh, like uh, twenty seconds. Okay, proof generated. Okay, so here uh, uh, I just uh, published um, uh, a new post, and uh, the po uh, I, I also uh, reveal the proofs at the front end. So actually, uh, in a, a next implementation, we can we can uh, vet, validate all the proofs from the front end. So you don't uh, really need to trust the server. And what if we are uh, like posting um, like constantly and spam the server? Uh, because that's what uh, you are not able to uh, do the uh, anonymous forum uh, with this promise, uh, but without using this technology. So yes, I can control uh, anonymous user not to posting too soon. So you can see here we have a 300 seconds red limiting. So uh, although the server doesn't know uh, which user you are, but the server can uh, red limit uh, how fast uh, or, or how many times you can post the content and that's the uh, most uh, amazing part of uh, this this technology so um, so I think uh, what uh, so I, I'm going to in, uh, introduce uh, how how it works behind behind the scene so when you uh, when when you register to a forum, you actually um, create an identity commitment, and that's generated from your identity. Oh, sorry. An identity is a, a public key. It's a tuple of your uh, public key and uh, notify and trap doors. Uh, the later is a uh, to uh, random numbers, uh, but uh, to understand the core logic, just just uh, take it as your public key. And the uh, identity commitment is a hash of your public key, and then we register this identity commitment on a smart contract on Ethereum. And then, uh, and then when you um, when you run the uh, the the twenty seconds of proof it actually takes uh, so it takes your private information from a client side uh, 
your identity identity commitment and a Merkle path uh, from the identity commitment to the uh, Merkle root and a signature of the content you you posting uh, you're posting so these are private inputs and also public inputs um, these are uh, the thing I showed in the front end that uh, everyone can verify it's the uh, root of the Merkle tree and a nullifier hash, I explained that later, and external nullifier and a signal hash. So signal hash is um, uh, it's a hash of your, your content and, uh, and a signature is the, the, the content signed, uh, the, the signal hash signed by your, uh, uh, by your public key. Private key. So uh, the, in a in a medal here, the snarks uh, uh, promise uh, these uh, these con conditions are hold. So uh, it makes sure the identity commitment is a hash of your public key, etc. And then the Merkle path. Um, it this makes sure your identity commitment has been correctly registered on the Merkle tree. So uh, with the Merkle root, so the server need to check the Merkle root is already uh, uh, on, the, on, the, on the blockchain. And then with this, uh, with this condition guaranteed, you, you, you can, uh, you can make sure the the user sending this proof is um, indeed an identity that is registered on the um, on the Merkle root, and then you need a, a nullifier hash. This is a hash of an external nullifier and the, oh sorry, so external nullifier is. Um, it's the it's the secret sauce we use to red limit the the user actions. So you can uh, you can think external notifier as a topic, and we hash the external notifier and the identity path index. Uh, this uh, this identity path index mean um, can uh, identify uh, which um, which position you are in the micro tree? So um, the hash of this creates a unique um, nullifier hash per topic. So you can see the nullifier hash is irrelevant to the signal and the signatures. So it's like whenever I send a message or I, I do some inter, uh, interactions or actions with the external notifier, it creates unique uh, notifier hash. So uh, that, that means um, I cannot um, do the same action twice. Uh, so yeah, we'll talk about external notifier and red limit uh, later. But let's go to the uh, last thing. So last thing, just uh, the signal authorization, just prove that you are the uh, author of, of this message. So uh, you see here, uh, you verify the public key and the signatures and um, the external notifier and signal hash. They uh, they need to uh, so. It just means the signature is a valid signature for for the signal hash, but it's because uh, because the signatures. If you if you are showing signatures and um, public keys on uh, to public, then then people would able to identify you. So this have to be done in the snarks. Uh, Oh, sorry. Um, yes. So uh, here's a, a 
yeah, he, here's an example of how um, um, like double sig um, double signaling can be detected. Now uh, that this this is uh, not only can be detected at a back end, but also can be detected at the front end. If server are like allowing the user to double signal, you can like you can detect it in the front end and, and, and complain about it. Okay, so uh, the other cool things you would like to do is to um, give a user some tokens if you uh, post some uh, valuable contents like, uh, like this anomalous user that posts with uh, valuable shower thoughts and, and you, you want to uh, you want the forum to be able to uh, tip it with something, but you cannot do it like posting your address here or posting an ENS link. No, because uh, they'll expose that you are the awesome squirrel. So we have to do it with the snark magic again. So you can. Uh, you can actually have another smart contract, and that's uh, that verifies if someone claims they are uh, the author of this post, and they can produce exactly the same notifier hash. Then you can let them claim the token with a fresh address. So, uh, okay, let let me check it. Is uh. Sorry, uh, does everyone following? Or I uh, all you need to do is shift it. your tab. You're you're in the the window of inner space now, um, and you're sharing your screen. So all you need to do is just go back to the tab that you were in, and you should be fine. Okay, okay. There we go. Should be fine. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that's how um, how you can tip your users. Um, um also a registration you can um you can have a proof proof of burn like uh like we, we just showed and you can you can also have a um sh uh, show message uh verification email verification just uh you need a trusted third party but um but if you want to you want to trust this uh, registration? You just like have uh, your own wrapper contract with. Um, you just take a uh, identity commitment as an argument, and then you can uh, write, write arbitrary uh, logic here, and then just use semaphore insert identity. Um, the semaphore will just uh, register your identity commitment to the Merkle tree. Um, and and that's it. You you, you can have um, like very um, flexible um, uh, registration strategies. And also uh, the red limit style. You can uh, have the epoch based uh, epoch based uh, a red limit style like I showed. This is um, external notifier string. You can um, you can have a prefix that's uh, your uh, your service name, your your uh, URL, or your your path in the in your website, and then with the uh, um, timestamp. Um, this this timestamp module like every thirty seconds. So 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 you can have a a red limit. Um, for the user, like they can only post every 300 seconds. You can also have a uh, non-spaced, uh, like they can only post only once. This is used for when you need to, um, like you have a, a five coupon or something, or you can even not using nonce, just like we want to deactivate your account, you just, just uh, use uh, deactivate as uh, your as your um, external fire. 
you can have also non uh, epoch based with non space. Like I can only post five times in the in the current three hundred seconds. So it's it's um it's uh, um up to your choice. So uh, here are some caveats for the um, applications you can build with. So the the semaphore is um, very useful for the stateless applications like VPN, or um, you can um, log in and and use the service, but without. Um, Re recording the user data, you don't need like um, uh, a bad example for a uh, status application is email. The email you you need um, to uh, record. Uh, you need to store the user's uh, previous email, or or you need um, you need to track a lot of um, that's that's to uh, individual or um, and and it requires state of individual be um, be stored on your ser server, so that um, that's not um, a good uh, good application for for semaphore. But VPN uh, or or server hosting, that this uh, anonymous forum, these are all good um, applications that you can build with. So. But um, I, I first presented uh, this in East Denver, and um, so far we have a, a Hoji chart art released on the uh, girly testnet. Um, but um, I, I um, uh, currently uh, back and forth on uh, another uh, project, so. Um, if you're interested to uh, build things with um, Semaphore or, or you want to uh, contribute to to this project, uh, feel free and re welcome to uh, reach me and yeah, I can um, I can I can uh, get you supports you need it. Um, yeah, like uh, here some yeah. Does anybody have any questions? Yes. Yes. Go for it. Is there is there any way to see a relation between posts? So let's say one registered user posts um, twice or three posts. Can can an observer from the outside make any relation between those posts or, or prove that the posts are from the same user? Uh, no, that's that's the uh, that's the that, that's a promise of semaphore. Like um, I post uh, like uh, like in this uh, eighteen messages, I post three of them, and but you cannot identify them. Just from the proofs, or or you you might see it from the message I sent, like uh, maybe maybe uh, these topics are um, contents of this text are relevant, but and also maybe you can detect uh, sender's IP, and but uh, you know that's um, privacy is the whole is a whole procedure. It's not some just some part of the feature. Yeah, but uh, does it answer your questions? Yes, and um, the other question is maybe related. Can you can you elaborate a bit more on the differentiation between um, stateful and stateless applications? I think that's that that comes to the to the same. Um, uh, yes. So. Um, Stateless application, it's like, yeah, I I would say it's stateless one is you don't require previous um, previous data that you you sent 
like um for example uh for for email email you don't um if you are if you are a group email like um you, you are sharing uh your inbox with two or three people that uh that that's fine it's 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 status but if you you, you cannot like have a email inbox that's um only uh only you can view your previous email but also you want it uh have some privacy guarantees that semaphor give you because you need to identify uh who those previous email belongs to so uh like for vpn vpn you you just log into a vpn and then you, you you just browse uh browse browse any um uh website you want but you don't uh you don't need your previous browsing history to to uh relate to a certain individual um also uh some some uh stay state for and stateless uh, differentiation is that um like you can you can have you can design the like like button in your in your in your forum but you can uh like only uh you can only like and you cannot do the unlike because to unlike the uh the post you need to know who liked it before that's um you need to track um a particular user who who, who already liked it before and then you you can allow unlike but it's um it's uh it, it's stateful so you cannot do that kind of feature in the in the, in the forum can i like you can once Yes, you can like more than once. You can you can have a non-spaced uh, red limiter and to say, I am allowed to uh, like a post for uh, five times. You can uh, design your notifier string, uh, external notifier string as the post ID and the mm -hmm. uh, like. Yes, that, that, that was the rate um, limiting. That was the rate limiting yeah. that, that you described. Okay. Okay, that's that's clear. So, um, I, in general, I understand the, the difference between stateful and stateless. The question was uh, rather about what. So, if I understand it correctly, please correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. What is possible sure. with this is on are only stateless applications possible with this? Uh, I mean, with the rate limiting, you have some form of state, don't you? Um. No, uh, no, because uh, 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 but that kind of state is um, like server need to uh, store every notifier hash that you, uh, one has already uh, done before, so that server can detect um, the duplicate uh, notifier hash and uh, block the 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 second uh, notifier hash so so uh but but it cannot uh, trace to your previous behavior like yes uh, but I can, I can still restrict the behavior right i can say you can you can only press the like button maximum once yeah yes so so i think that's the workaround for the situation you want the unlike but you cannot do the unlike style that got you that we, we have now yeah okay good questions then can i can i have one more question which is also related to the to the previous one <laughs> is it possible for myself to to st so i can prove that i was the author of one of those posts that i made right yes good any more questions I'm I'm sorry again, but <laughs> then I can uh, if, sorry. if I can prove that I'm the author of let's say post number nineteen and the author of post twenty, right? 
then I can also prove yeah. the relation between those posts. So then I can also prove that post 20 and post 19 were made by the same author, right? Uh, do you want to create a statefulness from that? No, yeah, I, I want to I want to show a relation between two posts, right? I want to prove a relation between two posts. I want to prove that author of post number twenty is the same author as post of proof uh, as as um, as post number nineteen, yeah, right? I want to prove. Uh, you can do. Yeah, uh, you can do that, and only if the authors want to. Yes, got you. Okay, that that's that's an important distinction. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I can't. Can I ask you mo one more question while while we have you here? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, sure, sure. I'm when I'm trying this, my um, my PC obviously has a lot of work to do um, generating the proofs and and the public signals. Yeah. Is oh, this yeah? Is this just my impression, or is this just my my poor hardware um, equipment, or is this um... so? So, can you explain uh, a bit more what is so expensive here? Uh, so, uh, sorry. Uh, can I ask uh, which exactly uh, issue you encountered? So, so basically, when, whenever I create a post, right, my yes. Yes. The, the CPO load goes up, and the processor obviously has a lot to do. Yeah, so much that I I hear oh. I hear my my ventilator um, uh, start working. You know, my my fans. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, because uh, to to create that proof, it's. Um, I think it's CPU intense uh, operation. So, yeah, I, um, it's. I, I think the like uh, Jordi from from the Circon uh, yes. they, they did a lot of optimization and use uh, Web Web Watson to to optimize the pro proving time to to squeeze it to to like. Uh, 10 to 20 seconds, but yeah, I, I, I guess that means a lot of uh, computation works with, uh, behind the scene. But but you are you are obviously using libraries for that, so you didn't did not code this yourself. Uh, yes, yes. So yeah, it's already the the pro prover already uh, wrapped uh, in. In some friendly JavaScript libraries, so it's um, it's very accessible to to web developers. Do you see Do you see being able to do the do the calculations in eWASM as opposed to WASM Classic? Uh, I think it's in 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 WASM Classic. It's um it's just uh the the WASM speed up is not the uh, for the Ethereum uh, or contract side, it, it, it's just um, it just make the JavaScript run run faster. Does uh, that answer your question? Yeah, well, I mean, there's a I guess the point is is that there's a price there's a price to pay currently. Yeah, that is processor speed uh, and time. Yeah, and we yeah. would make the assumption that that over the course of time, as we as we have more efficient uh, zk's, that that time would go down, so that that cost would go down for. Yes, yes, of course, yeah, 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 and um, yeah, that's uh, I'm really excited about um, like uh, recent uh, research is it looks like um, the the. The proving time, verifying time can be done better than 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 the current status. What what sort of what sort of uh, improvements do you expect to see in the next six months, year, five years? What what sort of time frames are those, and what what, what will the gains be? Uh, I think optimistically, 
I expect the the like the the proving and it it's like uh it's like using your your web to uh application right now it's like you you cannot uh you you don't feel any like uh um like like waiting or like waiting twenty seconds or waiting something you download something like that it's the it's almost have the same user experience of the the the, the current web two applications but that's 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 very optimistically it's no yeah what sort of I time frame do you see for those for that sort of experience how far out are we uh, from, from that how far out, how far away are we oh, from that type of immediacy? I, I don't know. I, I feel at, at just the feel is just, just, uh, F, um, uh, like fast. It might be just, just next year, but, but it could be, it could take five years, maybe, but it's, it's it's not far as soonish. Let me ask you another question. Can you yeah. can you imagine this happening at the hardware level in a secure enclave? Uh yes. Uh but but I don't have um like really, uh, really good understanding in in hardware and 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 how, um, like how 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 it can like speed uh speed out how how much so so that's um I I I don't really actually know i'm still still relatively new to this area and, and picking up some some knowledge and thank you so much for joining us thank you so much for having here